video time. Today, I want to talk to you about this rack right here. I've been working on this for a few days, so I want to show it to you. So, as you might already know, we have LED 60s, these lithium ion phosphate batteries. They're brand new. They're pretty awesome. They're Japanese cells, right? So we have designed a box, a rack mountable server rack box so that you can put your own cells or buy cells and then put it yourself, right? This is DIY. So you get the box and then you have to buy the BMS. And then I think this thing, just a, a few couple other little things and then the cells and then you put it together, right? And then you form it, you, you put it in a rack. So today what I wanted to check was to see if I could put it in a, just on an available rack. This is a $200 rack that's available by Jacoper or Orient Power uh, battery.com. I think that's their website. They sent me a while back for to promote uh, and, and review their batteries, right? And I did. And then eventually they upgraded it. it. This rack didn't come with this caster. So we put casters on there and I made a video how to do it. And then they updated it. And now their racks, this same rack now available through them, it has casters. So this is a $200 rack that you can buy. And so I wanted to see if you can if you can put these, you know, batter the boxes that we made in there. And because they're not exactly the same size as the Jacoper because the cells are different size, right? And so, as you can see, they stick out further back than the Jacoper. And probably as most of these other uh, battery boxes, server rack battery, you know, boxes, because they're, you know, they're diff different cells. The industry is using different cells. These are power cells was not designed for this. They were designed more for pushing a lot of power and automotive application and stuff, but there's no reason why we couldn't use them here. And, you know, now that we built the box. And so that's why we did that. And so this will give you an idea of what you would have to do. I did have to modify this rack. All I had to do was just change the distance between these, uh, well, these, these shelves, right? There's holes in here. Then I have to redrill holes in here and put screws in. Uh, you can see that it, it, it takes a little while to do that, right? But if you have a drill, a couple of drill bits and some patience, uh, then you could do this. And I suggest that you do it like this. If you're gonna put this many in a rack, right? Because then, so basically two, because you only get four shelves. I suggest you put two of the boxes on top of each other or one on top of each other and then put a shelf and then two more uh, boxes and then a shelf and then two boxes and then a shelf. Now this uh, rack, you could still put an extra one in there. So you can put up to seven of these boxes in here, which would be somewhere around 25 kilowatt hours. Yeah, 25, almost 26 kilowatt hours, right? But I wanted to do this because I wanted to compare the pricing because I know one of the things that uh, people are asking all the time is, okay, so you got your DIY box, but how much does it cost? You know, what it, what's, how is the equivalent to this to like a uh, plug and play battery? And so today we're going to talk about that. I have my little thing right here. I wrote down the prices. So look, these are six boxes, right? They sell for $250. So that's $1,500 worth of boxes in here. Cells, 16 cells. We have them at $29.93 when you buy them in sets of 16. So there's 96 cells that it would take to, to do this here, right? So it would be 2,874. And then you have six BMSs that you would need to buy and then populate, put, put them in there, right? And so those are about $100, so those $600. Then you got the uh, the 48 volt PCBs that we have, right? The, the, the bus bars. So they're sort of like those right there. So they go inside here. And the reason why we didn't include them in the box is because so many people asked us about different voltages. And so I was like, well, yeah, you can use any other voltage. These are 24 volts. So you could put two of those inside of this one and then you could, you know, parallel them and make this battery into a 24 volt. We have the little ones that are 12 volts. So you could do that and put four of them in there and then run this battery at 12 volts. Or you could just use the 48 volt, 74 amp hour one that are there, right? It's There's two of them, uh, one on top of the other one there. Uh, so that's why we didn't include them because it gives you the flexibility to build this battery. And anyway, I'm surprised that a lot of people want different <laughs> voltages in their rack battery system right and so i'm like okay what am i what am i thinking that i know what people want right so i don't apparently so then though you have to buy those and those would be like 684 dollars then you need to buy six 150 amp circuit breakers right here uh those are like five dollars each so that's about 30 bucks 
So it comes to a total of 5,622. And this is for 22.2 kilowatt hours. And so when you break down the per kilowatt hour, it comes out to about $256 per kilowatt hour. That's the price with these boxes, right? And so how does that compare to the industry standard or to the plug and play? Well, let's see. Uh, one of the biggest and most popular suppliers of these batteries is a company called Signature Solar, and they make an EG4 LL s which is sells for 14.95 now those are 100 amp hour so they're bigger cells and when you break down and by the way this is the pricing that is uh going on right now with the black friday when you break those down at a discounted price it comes out to 291 dollars a kilo per kilowatt hour right so those plug and plays are are more expensive than this how much more about 40 dollars per kilowatt hour right so it's not a huge difference, right? It's not definitely not a huge difference, but there is some savings by you buying these boxes, you doing the thing and you populating them, right? And yeah, you can get some deals right now. I think there's a ton of deals going on because of Black Friday uh, and Cyber Monday uh, holiday season that's coming up and the discounted things. Uh, and so that's where we're at. But look, if you're gonna buy something, let's say that you don't, you don't wanna build this. You're like, I like the price, I like the look, I like the whatever but I just don't have the time. I don't have the inclination to build this stuff. Here is Jacoper's 20 kilowatt hour system. Uh, and this thing right here is plug and play. You buy the four packs in here, that's 20 kilowatt hours. Each one is 5.1 kilowatt hours. And then you just plug them in like this with these cables. They have right now this system in their website for $6,100, right? And it includes the $200 uh, rack. And it's this uh, this updated one with wheels already, right? So you don't have to modify this. You just put it together. I have a video that I uh, reviewed these and I put together, you know, show you how to put it together and so on. And I'm gonna link it in the description. So this breaks down to about $305 per kilowatt hour, but this is plug and play. And it has the included, uh, it has the, the rack, right? The, the price of 249 over here per kilowatt hour, that doesn't include the $200 rack. So for about $50 more per kilowatt hour, you can get this and then you don't have to fuss about, you know, you know getting tools and, you know, putting batteries together. If you are into DIYing, this is a good way. You can learn a lot about putting your own batteries together and all stuff. Uh, if you're not into that, you just want a battery that you want to work, this thing is really cool. Uh, and I like these guys. These have, they, they treated me well. They've sent me all this stuff and I've taken it apart and I reviewed it and it's pretty well put together, right? Now the EG4 stuff, they do have one version that's cheaper than these ones right here, but it's not full fledged. doesn't have a screen and stuff. And I, you know, and you might, you could go and get that. I personally don't like those guys because they screwed me around when, as a content creator. They told me they were gonna send me some stuff. They got me to like promote some of the products and then they never did or whatever, but their products are good and they get good reviews. If you like them, go ahead and get them and stuff. But I personally like these and that's why I recommend these instead of those other guys, right? So there you go. If you want to build something, save some money, here you go. If you just want to plug and play, right? Then uh, Jacoper is the way to go. And I will upload a uh, video later this week where I am going to go and scour the internet and see some of the best deals. And I will just give you what's the cheapest per kilowatt hour when it comes to rack mount batteries. So stay tuned for that. All right, we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.